Today we're comparing nine woods on track, man. I've got the TaylorMade Sim Max. Jackie has the Ping G425 Max. She's gonna hit some shots today. We'll compare the numbers. Golfers, if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a comment and tell us what comparisons you wanna see us do in the future. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole of Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. And we've got a comparison of nine woods today. Nine woods are a, not a super popular club to have in uh, golfer bags today, um, but I think maybe they should be more popular just because of the playability, high launch, and um, the forgiveness that they offer. Uh, but I've got a Sim Max. You've got a Ping at G425 Max. We're gonna compare them both today. Um, so just give us kind of, Jackie, your take on nine woods in general. Like, I feel like, I mean, we're seeing even on the PGA Tour, more and more players on the LPGA Tour as well, more and more players using seven woods and even up to nine woods. So why do you think that is? Well, first, I think seven and nine woods are um, definitely underrated in yeah. terms of how many people have them in the bag. Right. Um, when taking a look at why people don't have them, I think a lot of the reasons as to why is because when, you know, we're fitting people for clubs, a lot of the question becomes, well, where do I see myself right now um, off the tee mm -hmm. or, you know, so if I'm in the rough, are, is a fairway wood going to get through that? Yeah. So I think a lot of the question becomes that when fitting for that gapping. Yeah. Um, so that's why I think a lot of people tend to not go that route is because a hybrid or yeah. a longer iron might get through the thicker stuff a little bit better. But um, I would say that these are clubs that would be so good like on longer par threes yep. um, when you are in the fairway and you're you know a certain distance out and I, yeah. I would highly recommend that this be an option to look into if you're struggling with that consistency from longer yardage. Right, and I think, you know, I mean, not that a lot of golfers are playing golf course where the rough is like US Open, you know, yeah. but there's, I think, in, and we've done some testing on nine woods before and it's always been super high launch, like oh, yeah. way higher than, you know, the hybrid of the same loft or an iron of the same loft. Yep. The, it just the, the weight being back behind the club head and lower behind the, or below the kind of impact location just launches that thing straight into the air. So. Um, with these nine woods, you know, Ping G425 Max, it's got that spin consistency factor into it. A ton of forgiveness there. Uh, the Sim Max has V Steel technology here, or just a couple of technologies to, to look at. But uh, V Steel um, was actually, they introduced it back in the mid 2000s. They brought it back with the Sim Line. Very consistent, low center strikes, gonna make it consistent. Well, basically, they both are lined up uh, to have those shots low on the club face with a fairy wood, which is a common miss, I think, for people to basically maintain that consistent spin and distance. So um, with these though, the Sim Max is 24 degrees in loft, that's 23 and a half degrees in loft. So a slight difference there in the test today, but mm -hmm. um, both regular flex shafts. Do you think we'll see any differences based on your knowledge of both of these clubs? Um, I would suspect that uh, the G425 is gonna be maybe a little bit more consistent in the dispersion pattern just because of what I know about the G425 fairway mm -hmm. woods. This year okay. have been very, very, very good. Yeah. So, a um, you know, little bit more forgiving than the Max, but I also, that's my gamer, so I probably, I, I would suspect I'm go. gonna hit it pretty well. Yeah. But I would think that the G425 is gonna be, they're gonna okay. be pretty similar. Sure, sure. So, for the format, we'll hit, um, we'll hit five shots with each one. Okay, so it'll be not a gigantic sample size, but five shots with these one. Um, we'll see what the, the numbers tell us. We've got, again, same flex shaft, not the exact same shaft, but the same flex. Um, small difference in loft. Um, and then your prediction is just maybe a little bit more kind of a tighter dispersion with the G425 Max? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna agree with you on that. That's my prediction as well, but we'll see. I mean, it is one year newer as well. So, yep. um, all right, are you ready to hit some shots here? Let's go. That felt good, right? Sounded good. Yeah, a little, little, Pole. So, Jackie, what would kind of, you know, if, if you were to guess, I don't think you play a nine wood, but is there like a, a guess that you have for, you know, your distance or your carry distance that you'd have from, you know, a 23 and a half to 24 degree fairy wood? Well, it's pretty similar to my five hybrid. Okay. So, I hit that about 170, okay. 175. Okay. Yeah. 
So, so expect kind of something like that maybe? Yeah, somewhere in there. It's pretty good. Those are, <laughs> that, you, you hit just like the five same shots. Yeah. Uh, I'm very excited to see. I mean, the first one, I, I, the last four were definitely. Yeah, I really think the good. first one was just a little bit left tugged, but. Yeah. There is that consistent theme of kind of going a little bit left to center here, but they're all consistent. So yeah. we'll look at these uh, numbers here if I can find the bar. Well, if you know my history with ping, I usually am right. left of center. You're pretty. So. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, 80 miles an hour club speed, 114.5 ball speed. Um, what did you think? I mean, Talk about the feel of that club, you know, uh, the feel at impact, you know, maybe did you feel like you were pulling that would, a little bit? Yeah, would. I, I love the feel of it. Yeah. It's great. Um, would probably adjust it a little flatter and we'd sure. be in a really good spot. But okay. other than that. And like, we've done past, I think, driver yeah. comparisons or fairway comparisons where we with you. Where you've just kind of, for whatever reason, have been pulling the, the ping clubs a little yeah. bit, the G425 series anyway. So, um, but it would just take one simple tweak there and and straighten that out. But I'm curious now then, because we got the Sim Max, um, half a degree difference in loft there. So I'm wondering how that performs and maybe that straightens things out here a little bit. Yeah, let's see. All right, Taylor made Sim Max. You did predict that the G425 Max would be a little of a tire dispersion. So we have that. You had the one way out here to the left, and I think it would get a little bit more. That's actually just for fun. We'll uh, remove that one from the far left, see how close. See, then it would be kind of yeah. right on top of each other. But more or less, you got that kind of left going. Um, give me the thoughts on that, the look of the Sim Max and the feel compared to the G425. Well, the Sim Max is definitely more of a um, smaller head, right? Oh, really? So okay. it's got, so the G425 is flatter on the edge which I always like um, so when you're taking a look at the differences here you know the sim I mean the ping g425 max is noticeably a little bit bigger okay. in the head like and a bigger then, footprint there yeah mm -hmm. and then the edge of the actual club is just it's flatter right okay. so it really helps like be able to come through the ball and sweep up and like mm -hmm. meet with the ball a little bit more flush whereas the sim max has got more of a rounded okay I see you got yeah more of the you know uh, it's a yeah it, yeah it's a and we more of the club face is on the ground essentially with the G425, yeah we talked about part of the sim max kind of you have to you have to make sure your lie angles fit right <laughs> essentially right and we've talked about this with fairway wood comparisons from just this year and the reason why g425 like fits so many people is because of how they have it set up yeah and just the design of the actual club head is just way more forgiving it's way, it's just more consistent. The face is a little bit wider too. So like you're getting that higher MOI with that G425. Um, yeah, obviously, I mean, I, I like the Sim Max feel, but yeah. that's just because of my familiar, like I'm familiar with it. Yeah. But I do love the G425. If I was going to make a switch, I'd, I'd make a switch to ping all day long mm -hmm. just from me seeing so you know, so much yeah. with fittings and knowing how they perform. So I mean, I was fit into the LST G425 this year, and it's been awesome. I use it off the tee, and I've actually gone away from hitting driver off the tee because of it, and it's been better for me. Um, so one feature G425 has that Sim Max does not in the 9 wood is adjustability on the yep. hosel. So I know we've said it before. We teased it at, you know, past videos. We've made that uh, lie angle adjustment. Want to do that again here? Yeah, let's do it. The footage at the end here. Of it. Wow, look at that one. Well, that was me. Oh God. Well, there you go. Wow. That's why it's so good. That one's good too. And that's the highest ball speed of the day. You just hit that 194 yards with a nine wood. Just want you to know. That's pretty good. So that dispersion certainly straighter. Yep. With uh, now I was you went you went flat. Yep. Um, on the adjustment there, so the lie angle is straightened you out a little bit, and actually you hit your two farthest shots of the day, right here. We got one that actually went 193.9 total, 117 ball speed, and then the other one here. 
189.6 total. So you were saying 170 to 175 yards would be the number, and we got a couple that were up there. And you also had, I think, a miss hit in there that you yeah. did not like at contact. I think it might have been this one here. Yep. 185 total. Yeah. Uh, a lot of that because you missed it, but the spin went down, so the ball still traveled. Uh, yeah. I, that's pretty impressive by Ping. Yeah, I think that's why, you know, I think a lot of people, when we're making videos in terms of like fairway woods with ping, are saying, well, let's compare all their products, which we definitely obviously want to, yeah. right? But when I say ping, the G425 it's has consistent. been an, a massive hit. It really it just has. Yeah. And it just really, this is a good one, you know, good to show. Like, I didn't even hit every single one, like, perfect, but I'm still... Yeah. in this circle right and yeah. the adjustability feature with the ping as well is really essential for a lot of golfers because in that situation right like this definitely and that's did a help. big win for you as a fitter you know i mean yeah if, if someone wanted to get a nine wood today and you know we had the g425 max we had sim max yep. you're able to adjust i mean this is that'd be perfect for a fitting you know yeah. you're able to make that adjustment still um so, you know, big win there for, for ping in the G425 series. Also, I just wanted to point out your club speed is 80.0 for all three of our settings today, which is kind of remarkable. Um, Distance-wise, most with the uh, adjusted flat setting of the G425 Max, also carry distance. Spin was the lowest. Um, pretty, I mean, pretty darn good performance overall. Look how little curve we also were hitting with the G425 Max. That's just a straight ball flight. That's... Yeah, pretty remarkable stuff from Ping in this test. So, and, you know, we talked about how a 9-wood can be an advantage. Um, you know, I, I think it's just one of the, the way the club's built, it's designed to give you high loft. Yeah. Or, excuse me, it's designed to give you high launch. And so, you get that combination with the added forgiveness. We talked about how easy it is to make good contact with that club. I mean, a set of fairy woods, if you go, you know, maybe it's 3-wood, 5-wood, 9-wood, or 3-wood, 5-wood, 7-wood, or whatever it might be. But... You know, there's there's a ton of advantages to having a higher lofted fairy wood in your bag um, for those shots where you maybe need that extra distance to get to a green, get to a target, but you need to also stop the ball quickly to land on the green. Man, these can be really, really good weapons. Well, and I think it's game dependent. You yeah. know, when we were talking oh, about... always is. Yeah. When, yeah, when we were talking about earlier, well, why are LPGA and PGA pros going to seven woods and nine woods? Well a lot of them hit the fairway pretty consistently. Right. So the reason why they also can play those is because they're in the fairway. Yeah, and, and they, get to those, they get to those long courses where they need to stop yeah. the ball quickly. Yeah, so it is, it all, it's all player dependent. Um, and we say that with every you know, aspect of you know, the fitting process here, but every fitting is different, every player is different. And it, we're seeing now just the trend seems to be higher loft to fairy woods seem to be a, a fit for a lot of golfers now, just based on the swing speed, needing that extra launch at the top, that top part of the iron set in their bag. So, uh, but Jackie, thanks for joining today, hitting all the shots, uh, giving us, you know, another kind of fitting bonus to this too, by uh, adjusting the G425 Max and seeing the best dispersion circle out of it. So I think the G425 series has been, like you said, big hit. The nine wood is no different. 